Welcome back to Graham's Lost the Plot and thank you to everybody who watches, likes, comments and shares my videos and subscribes to my YouTube channel. And I do apologise for not uploading in the last two weeks. Jury service came up and for anybody that's done jury service will know it can take up quite a bit of your time and what with that and the weather being a bit hit and miss I just haven't had time to come down here to start the great allotment clear down. But my jury service is finished now and I've just managed to get down here this morning and I have to say it's a beautiful autumn morning. The sun is shining in my face. It is fresh but it's a perfect day to get some work done on the allotment plot. And my plan is over the next few weeks to clear my allotment plot down ready from everything that I've grown in the summer so that it's ready for autumn and winter so I can kind of put it to bed but I've got so many jobs to do what with this allotment plot and the other allotment plot over there but what a beautiful morning to get cracking so without further ado let's dig in if you pardon the pun there's a place i have found in the shade on the ground far from a worries and troubling sound look at the state of my runner beans now we've had some fairly strong winds over the past few days and they've finally just fallen over we've got canes poking out all over the place so do you remember that game kaplunk where you had the straw sticking out everywhere well that's kind of what this reminds me of so today's job is to get these beans those beans there and those beans there down put away and the beds set up ready for autumn and winter so just before i start this so this is my third year doing allotment gardening as a hobby absolutely obsessed with it and if you haven't seen my journey up until now check out some of the earlier videos on the channel because they are quite funny me not really having a clue what i was doing and i've kind of learned little bits as time's gone by but the last two years when I've grown runner beans when we've got to this point at the end of the season I've kind of come down here in a bit of a manic style I've just pulled the canes out slid off the stalks as best as possible when I was in that allotment plot over there I just literally threw them at the back of the allotment plot all the stalks here I did the same I created a pile and eventually over time they did actually sort of compost down but I'm not going to do that this year I want to do something a little bit different so I don't want to waffle any longer because I cannot stand this monstrosity of canes and beans on my allotment plot so let me put you down I'll get a bit of a time lapse going and let's clear this down and then we can move on to the next stage come on take too long what 10 15 minutes perhaps to get all those canes out and the beans put onto the bed let me show you one thing to note before we take a look at the bed is whatever you do something i've learned over the past two years is take good care of your canes because last year i kind of ripped up all my canes bust them all and just threw them around like i didn't really care about them you know what canes aren't actually that cheap to buy i bought a hundred of them and they cost me quite a bit of money so i'm going to store these canes inside my polytunnel over winter i'm going to treat them like gold because the less you spend on your allotment plot the better right basically just taken all my beans off the canes and just dropped the plants directly onto the bed so the inexperienced Graham would have just raked up all these, put them into a pile and shoved them somewhere out of the way on my allotment plot, but not this year. So research has been telling me that bean plants, the roots and the stalks contain loads and loads of nitrogen. And when the plants die off, they put nitrogen back into the soil so it gives the soil a lot of nitrogen and what do plants need to grow 
nitrogen. So I'm gonna leave these on here to die out on this bed, ready for next year's growing. And what an unbelievable little trick this can do to save so much time, but also to improve your growing for next year. Honestly, I'm not gonna pretend I'm any sort of expert when it comes to soil composition or even allotment gardening. Like I say, I'm just learning as I'm going along, but what with some nice kind comments from some subscribers about how the roots give off nitrogen to leave them in the ground, I did further research and the stalks and everything contain nitrogen, so why don't I just leave it as it is and just let it compost down and enrich that soil? Of course, me being me, I can't just leave it like that. I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna get a few wheelbarrows of manure chuck that on top just to really fuel this soil just before i start putting the manure onto that bed i just want to show you something and it may seem a little bit of a silly thing to show you but pop my canes here in my polytunnel to store over winter i can't emphasize the importance of looking after your canes otherwise it's going to cost you money if you can put them inside put them somewhere out of the horrible harsh winter elements i think that's going to prolong the life of them so i definitely recommend that loving this job you know clear down this bed put some manure on so that's all good i've started working on my tp bean structures now i'm taking those down as well and look what i've got here i've got a huge amount of bean debris if you like i just rushed home and got my shears so i can kind of chop this up and then put it on the bed because there's way too much of it like that so let's get out it let's go ahead and do that then come on Doesn't help when you've got, when your shears are, are blunt, it's only the end bits that are sharp, so it's taking forever, but check it out. Look at that. It's amazing when you chop it all up, how far down it goes. And yeah, I'm hoping this is gonna put some real nitrogen goodness into this bed. It is quite emotional doing this job, but it's emotional, but it feels, quite cleansing as well as we're moving into different seasons. I'm enjoying myself out here today. I do feel like I'm making this up as I go along, but I mean, isn't that what most people do in their allotment plots anyway? So I've got two plants comfrey plants check them out and they're pretty big and they're pretty overgrown so i thought i might shear them back and then drop the foliage onto these beds i don't know if that is a thing or not but i know you do put the comfrey leaves and stuff into water and it stinks and then you can pull it on your plants for extra feed so why not Cut the plants back just to tidy up the allotment plot. And yeah, drop those leaves on these beds. So I'll tell you what, I'll do that. I'll tidy up the back end of this plot and I'll come back to you. When I thought I'd be back in a moment after I've done a little bit, well, it's about two and a half hours later. I'm a little rosy cheeked, but I've done some mega work on this top. 
half of the allotment plot. I can't wait to show you because even as I was walking in with the final wheelbarrow of wood chips through Wendy, I was like, wow, this looks completely different than what he did this morning. So let me go to the top and then I'll give you a walk around of what I've done today because honestly, I'm really pleased with what I've done at the allotment plot in this little session. Let's take a look. So I've moved my sign and I've just perched it there on the entrance to the allotment plot. It's a bit of a change because I took up the old sweet pea pot that was there. But yeah, let me give you a little tour around what I've done today then. So here was where the beans were in the canes. I slid the canes out of the beans, dropped them straight onto the bed. I didn't uproot them. Some of them came out, some of the roots came out, some of the roots didn't. And then I dropped on a couple of wheelbarrows of manure on top of that. And then I put some comfrey leaves over the top and I'm just gonna let that die back. And all the nitrogen that's in these leaves and these bean roots is hopefully gonna go into that soil, mix around, and then we're gonna have an awesome, well healthy bed for next year's beans all around here. Here, I've streamed back all where there was bits of grass that were coming over, there were weeds that were here, streamed them over and put some wood chip down. Let me show you along the front, you see how I've got rid of all the high grass that was here. Also streamed down this pathway as well, like to keep the neighbours happy, don't we? So after I did that, I <laughs> went a little bit crazy and then I started doing a similar thing to my two tripod TP type style beds of beans. Let me show you. So this is where I've cut back the comfrey and here is where I've put, I've basically done the same sort of thing. I've chopped back all the beans that were there. I've just left them lying on top and I've put some comfrey leaves over the top. And that is just the way this is gonna stay all over winter. I'm expecting this to rot back and go into the soil, all that goodness coming through. Tidy up this little bed over here where there was some lupins that didn't get going this year. I'm just gonna leave them there and see if they come through next year. Wood chips, all this area, again where there were weeds everywhere. I did the same thing with this bed here which had my Kentucky Wonder Wax, chopped it all back, used the shears because it was in big clumps and then I've just popped on top some comfrey leaves as well so once it rains and whatnot it's just gonna all get going in there. Here was where I had my Swiss chard and I've got my leeks. Took out the Swiss chard because it was all messy and it started to look a bit manky and I've just left the leeks sitting pretty there. Let me take you over here and show you the allotment plot from this angle. So take a look now of what I've done today. Oh super pleased with this. I did do some weeding in these raised beds where the leeks are sitting nicely. There's some horrible nasty weeds coming through there. So I pulled all those up. Give it a little bit of a fingering around the sides just to make sure everything's doing okay. But yeah, I mean, look at how this is looking so far. But now it just looks almost landscaped. I can't... <laughs> One more thing. I took out the dead marigolds that are in that wheelbarrow there. These two composters are now completely full to the top but I have noticed even just after a month they do go down quite a bit. So when I start working on this area of the allotment plot I'm sure I'm going to have more weeds that I hopefully can squeeze into these composters. But all in all today what, four hours down the allotment? I've been itching to get down here after two weeks, after jury service, and the weather's been terrible as well, hasn't it? Do you know, I woke up this morning and there was ice on the windscreen of the car, so we're definitely moving into that colder period. But yeah, this is all looking really neat, really tidy, really well landscaped. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Perhaps I've given you some ideas about how you could clear down your allotment plot, maybe. I mean, the idea of sort of chopping and dropping the beans was something new to me. So it'd be interesting to see over the coming months how this sort of foliage dies back and rots away. I will be putting some more manure on these beds. I may do a little dumping over Christmas time and then a little dumping maybe, I don't know, February time, something like that. It's an inch closer towards 2025's growing season. And there you go. Look, you can see how tidy it looks now. 
Oh, it does not half look so much better. It's like a breath of fresh air now. I hope you've enjoyed coming down the allotment plot with me today as much as I've enjoyed bringing you down here and just kind of giving this autumn winter clear up. In fact, I've really enjoyed this job. It's been a little bit hot and sweaty despite you not being too warm. The old cheeks are a little bit rosy, but I feel alive with the fresh air. Birds have been tweeting, it's clear blue skies. Oh, it's happy days. Happy allotment days. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. There's dinner in the yard Out behind the cars Tonight we're gonna do something different I will make the things That I know how to make Something more delicious